Did you know that Bluetooth audio has been mostly unchanged since 2003? I mean, this was three years before Spotify launched and four years before we even got the first iPod. And while I'm sure you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones or a wireless speaker you absolutely love, there are actually quite a few shortcomings in the Bluetooth spec most of us know and love. But huge changes are just around the corner as Android 13 is including support for Bluetooth LE audio, with the LE standing for low energy. Admittedly, the name isn't particularly exciting. Please clap. Low energy might make you think of a laptop CPU that's advertised as being super power efficient, but also frustratingly slow. But Bluetooth LE audio promises to be better in every way. Let's start out with the biggest concern for most average users, battery life. Although the companies that make wireless headphones and speakers try and make long battery life a major selling point, the fact is that they're all using the same outdated and inefficient Bluetooth Classic protocol to receive audio signals. It's actually inefficient enough to have a significant impact on power consumption, both on your headphones and your phone. But how does Bluetooth LE use less energy? At the heart of the new protocol is the LC3 codec. And if you don't know what a codec is, it's just a piece of software that encodes or decodes audio signals so they can be sent out in a compressed form to save on power and bandwidth. LC3 uses a new compression algorithm that allows for higher quality audio at a lower bit rate, meaning less data will be transmitted, resulting in lower power consumption without compromising on sound. Sounds too good to be true, and it almost is. Well, this doesn't mean Bluetooth LE is suddenly going to deliver audio that matches a lossless experience with wired headphones. It should be a noticeable improvement over the current codec, SBC. Although there already are higher quality codecs available for Android, like your Crazy X, they have their own issues. AAC, famously used by Apple devices, has quality and battery consumption problems on Android, go figure, and LDAC and Aptix from Sony and Qualcomm respectively are, well, proprietary. So if a headphone maker wants to support these, they have to pay extra for a license, meaning not only are they harder to find, they're also more expensive for consumers. By contrast, LC3 is a required part of the Bluetooth low energy spec moving forward, so support for it should be much broader. And there are other really cool improvements other than sound quality and battery life, which we'll tell you about right after we thank FreshBooks for sponsoring today's video. Whether you own a business or do freelance work, FreshBooks is designed to make accounting and invoicing easier for you. With the ability to integrate with over 100 different apps, there's always a simple way for you to connect with your team and clients. It's easy to start, and their award-winning support staff is always there to help. Take out some of the unnecessary stress in your life and start your first 30 days free with no credit card required. Go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie. Even though having multiple speakers or headphones play the same thing from one source is relatively easy to do with a wired setup, there hasn't really been a good, not proprietary way to do this over Bluetooth so far. That's changing with Bluetooth LE audio, thanks to a feature called AuraCast. This should support use cases as simple as two people trying to listen to the same song on separate headphones to hundreds of people receiving announcements at an airport they might otherwise miss because they're listening to Spotify. We might even see places like gyms and sports bars adding AuraCast to allow people to listen to the TV of their choice, which might otherwise be muted, as picking an AuraCast source on your phone should be just as easy as selecting a Wi-Fi network. And if you're watching this video on a Bluetooth speaker, you might notice that the words you hear are a little out of sync with my mouth. Bluetooth LE should also help address this because it has lower latency, especially important if you like to use Bluetooth audio for gaming. Combine all this with better performance over distance, more accurate stereo sound, thanks to each earbud getting its own audio stream, and even support for spatial or surround sound without needing any special software, and Bluetooth LE audio should, at the very least, make wireless audio less of a pain. And it's supposed to be simpler than a tangle of wires. How did this happen? And how did this video end so quickly? Huh, oh well. Like it if you liked it, <laughs> dislike it if you dislike it. Check out our other videos and comment below with video suggestions and don't you forget to subscribe and follow. You almost did this time. Don't.